This is a demonstration of the new uh, feature in NeuroGuide for biofeedback, for neurofeedback. It's called the ANI Streamer, and it allows you to stream any application into a window and then move that uh, docking window over to the uh, client or patient's uh, uh, display to do neurofeedback. Uh, it's universal. You can use Netflix, or YouTube, uh, any video that you have, uh, anything you want, a browser, uh, anything that you want, you can put in the window now and use that as a display in neurofeedback. This is a demonstration. I'm going to click collection and uh, then a neurofeedback. Uh, I'll go ahead and look at Loretta neurofeedback. I'm going to move this up here so it's out of the way. I've just selected uh, Broadman Area 1. Uh, for power or current density and theta, I've selected the ANI streamer in the display list. As you can see here, ANI streamer. That's the one that you want to select. I click apply, and that will bring up the control window. This is the, the panel that you're going to be moving over to the uh, subject's display monitor. And this is the control panel uh, that we can make uh, get things working. The first thing we want to do, I have a YouTube here. Uh, I could have anything, it could be Netflix, you name it, but you want to just simply click on that so that when you do, and I'm going to start it going, uh, you can see in here what you selected. This happened to be Rodney Dangerfield Best Liners. And now I'm going to dock it in the display that will be placed on the subject's monitor. This is uh, the docker itself. This is what we will move to the subject's uh, uh, monitor to do biofeedback. Uh, we uh, can resize it uh, and do various things. Now I'm going to uh, now begin. We can unlock it or lock it. I'm going to begin the session uh, so you can see the kinds of changes. Right now it's a brightness effect. I can uh, change it so it's size. It's a 75% uh, change, but I can go to 100%. The rate of change is uh, medium. I can make it fast. So it changes very quickly. You can fit to the window or you can stretch it out. Uh, so there's a lot of different options that you have. But you have this entire dock here in the patient's window. You can size it. And if you do it correctly, actually, if you have a second if you, a monitor, uh, you can have the application working at full screen, and then it will occupy this entire dock screen. So the idea with this is a universal uh, vi a visual auditory feedback for clients and biofeedback. And uh, little Rodney Dangerfield with YouTube uh, is probably not the best content for your, your, uh, uh, your client or your patient, but this gives you an idea of what you can do.